Hey Artsy Buddies, what's up? Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an art supplies haul. That was very weird, but let's get started. Alright, so um, I've just been collecting a bunch of art supplies for a little while now and for some of these I wanted to make like separate videos where I just completely tried this one art supply out, try to be good at it, but I really don't know when I'm gonna get to doing that because it's been a couple months since I bought some of these art supplies to make videos about, so yeah, I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and take all these art supplies and just put them all in one video, try them all out, swatch them, just get to know them. I don't have to create masterpieces, I just have to get to know them, so that is what we're gonna be doing today with all of these art supplies and I am going to leave a timestamp because some of you may be interested in some specific art supplies so and now let's get started with our first art supply so our first category is pens I'm gonna be swatching and trying everything out in this little book. I'm gonna get started with swatching these Cello Butterfly pens. These are actually from my school, so I figured I would just swatch them out, see how they are like, and they have like the perfect thickness. They're not super duper thick, and they're not also super fine. So it's like the perfect thickness that I prefer, and these actually write really nicely. They are smooth, and like it says, they have a bit of a butterfly. <laughs> And the same thing goes for the blue ones as well. They are actually really good. To swatch these, I'm just basically checking how well they write and some lines. And I'm also going to be putting this blue pen at an angle to see how well it writes. And it actually does not write well at all. So it needs to be held from the top. Um, another thing I'm trying is I put a bunch of uh, like ink at one spot. And then I'm using a wet brush to see if they smudge to check if they're water resistant. And these are. Next, we're trying out these two permanent markers. First, I tried the red one, which is from Camlin. It is a pretty good brand, and these were pretty smooth. They're both bullet tips, so yeah. I tried this blue one, and it was also the same. This one is from a brand called Comics, which I've never actually tried before. Um, and of course, since these are permanent markers, I decided to do the water test with these, and these are actually very well water resistant, so that's great. Next, we're going to try out these Luxart Fine Writers. These are 0.5 mm, so I think they are pretty fine. Uh, nothing on the back. Let's try these out. To see how well these work, I just got started by writing down a couple words, see how smooth these are, put down some color, make some nice lines. And this dark green one that I'm using right now actually bled somehow. I don't know how, but now I'm just going to have this green ink for the entire video, so that's great um but i also am writing a secret message for you so please do that these were actually really good i really like the color selection and these work really fine the only thing that i'm mad about is why is there no yellow i wanted yellow anyways then i did the wet brush test and these actually smudge i was really not expecting that so it came as a surprise but good to know that these are not water resistant there's a little secret message for you in there so do it The next category is pencils and erasers. Starting off with some super regular pencils, which I actually used to use these a lot when I was younger, so I really missed using these. Now I'm just sharpening it up. That is literally so long. That looks so cool. All right, so these pencils are actually just, just amazing, as I remember. They write very smoothly. They've got a nice amount of pigment and yeah they're just really fun to write with and while we're testing these pencils out I figured why not bring in the eraser which I struggled to open um, maybe because I had a very short nails but I struggled there we are after finally getting the eraser to open these actually worked surprisingly well I for some reason was not expecting these to be so good and they were pretty good I also decided to do a smudge test to see how much the smudge and yeah, the smudge a lot. <laughs> so the next thing is actually something that I've been wanting to try out since months and I was actually going to do like a whole separate video of me just trying this thing out, trying to make some cool drawings using this, but it's been months and I haven't gotten into doing that. So I decided I'm just going to go for it today. I'm going to swatch these. I'm going to try these. I'm going to see what it's like. 
right now. So these are by a brand called Dong Su Art, which is a brand that I've never ever heard of. And me just trying these out for the first time, I actually really like them. These were really easy to sort of blend and smudge. And these were very well pigmented. Like that, that black is noisy. Black. It's dark. These were actually in three different types. Uh, there was hard, medium, and soft. The hard one was actually pretty rough. So I'm assuming it's for like the tinier details if you want to do that. And the medium one, I think I liked it. And the soft one was actually really soft. And I think it is mainly to fill in large areas. But I have no experience with charcoal pencil, so if you do, then give me some tips on how to use these things, and I'm probably going to make a separate video on these, so let me know if you would watch that. And lastly, I decided to bring out the eraser again to see if it would erase these charcoal pencils nicely, and it actually did, which surprised me once again. The next in the category of pencils are these Camlin colored pencils. As you can see, they're actually very tiny, so these are like for students or students for school, I guess. Um, so I do have the larger versions of the same brand, so I kind of wanted to test those out, which I do later on. But for now, these are actually pretty good. They're definitely not like professional quality amazing or whatever, but these were just fine. I would not mind working with these, and I actually have to work with these just once. Um, the pigments are pretty good. The black is actually pretty nice, and I tried blending them, and I know everyone says blend them motion but this is just how i blend it works for me and it was pretty good at blending the only problem was white it was just not very pigmented i quickly did a comparison with the larger pencils to see if there was any difference and there wasn't but i would say these are okay-ish the next thing we're trying out are these camlin oil pastels and i also actually have these i also have favorite castell oil pastels because I actually tried these out for the first time ever a very long time ago. I was not good at it, and I still am not, but I kind of wanted to compare Camlin and Faber-Castell to see what the difference would be, so let's do that. This is our scratching tool. It looks to me like a camo. I... Oh, camo. I... I get it now. But that white is broken. Why is it broken? So for some reason, the white in this set was broken. I'm not exactly sure if that was because of the shipping or whatever, but could be. But I don't know. I was disappointed by that. But the colors were actually really nice. It had a good range of colors, and these were actually a lot smoother than I thought. Like, I remember the favorite castell ones being so much more, like, thicker. And when I tried these, these were a lot less thicker and these were a lot smoother to work with and a lot less messy i tried blending them it was really fun and surprisingly easy to do i was really enjoying working with these they were easy to smudge and everything it was like going perfect i also decided to try out the scratching tool which came and it also showed the process behind the box thankfully because i actually tried this technique before using the favorite castello pastels but i think i did it with a toothpick and it didn't end up working so i'm glad we have this tool to use here and it was actually working. <gasps> it actually worked. I was not expecting for that to work. That is so cool. I'm going to do that once again. <laughs> While I get super happy about this technique working out and doing it again, I'm going to tell you about the comparison between the Favorite Castell and the Camlin. The one thing I could tell was that the Favorite Castell was so much more thicker, so much more creamier to work with, so much more textured and pigmented. I tried whites on both of them and they're clearly not that great. Um, doing this whole thing just really made me want to get back into oil pastels. Like, these things are cool very cool the next thing that i have is another super duper cool thing at least to me i actually found it like two days ago and i bought it and it's really cool and i'm super excited to open it up and it's this <laughs> it's a wooden embellishment it comes with this very bad brush probably and some little tiny paints which i'm also gonna swatch well, i bought my scissors but i just can't seem to find them so i'm gonna use a compass to stab through this plastic brush it's so tiny although i know it's going to be horrible because these are literally like plastic and super stiff but we have a brush such a cool looking wood slice thing that is very cool oh my god oh, 
this works. It's so cool. I want to put something on it. Oh, and it stands. It stands. Look at this paint. It's so tiny. I love tiny. This is so tiny. This is so adorable. Okay, so I absolutely just love this. It is working. It is so cool. Let's hope I don't... Let's hope I don't break it because this is literally amazing. I want to make like little paintings and put it up here and then just put like that in my room now because this is adorable. I love this. I love this so much. Now I'm going to go ahead and swatch these little thingies which bring me to my next category which is paint. So now I'm going to start swatching these little cute tiny paints and the only thing I like about these is the color selection and how tiny these are. Besides that, these were literally so thin, so not opaque, very less pigmented and very watered out for some reason and these were also very hard to open. I don't know why but these were literally shut so tightly I could not get them to open. And I'm very confused. Why did these come in a painting on wood set? Because wood takes up a lot of paint and it would take so many layers to get these paints to be nice and opaque on that wood. I also tried blending this did not do the greatest job but these are just bad trying out these adams watercolors but one thing i don't like about this is the way this opens because literally if i hold it just this blue part then it's gonna open like it's not gonna be close like it's such a weird brush included actually does not look that bad it says synthetic hair and it actually feels really nice and soft so i'm excited to try this one so let's get started by spraying some water on these to activate the colors and um, one thing I do like about this packaging is that there are these little wells here and it would make like a great palette to just mix colors so I like that that's there. And I decided to start swatching these by drawing a really bad and very inaccurate watercolor palette which also didn't have the right amount of circles so I had to use white for highlights and black is outlining but besides that the colors were actually really nice they felt like good quality i could just feel it um they were nice and pigmented these were thick and these felt like good watercolors plus that brush it was great i would like to take a moment to show you this page <laughs> it is such a big fat mess this literally looks like a whole disaster piece um it turned out horrible 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 the next thing that i have is more paint faber castell tempera paint these are 12 different colors and swatch these i'm not gonna go ahead and draw another weird palette again i'm just gonna dive right into the swatches and these were actually really good um again they were really nice pigmented and i love the color selections i love how vibrant and opaque these colors are these literally feel like a mix of acrylic watercolor and gouache because i can like make these be super watered down but i can also get them to be kind of thick plus these reactivate so it was like a mix of everything and i actually really like these i also did this rose painting with them so i had lots of fun with those paints and now it's time for our last and final category finally which is sketchbooks right so this is the first sketchbook which is just a drawing book where's the brand what i don't know what brand this is i think it's drawing destin but i really don't know this is for pencil drawing and painting this is just 180 gsm which means it's not super duper thick but it works for me um this i have actually started sketching stuff in here um these squares which is actually for a video so try guessing what video i'm trying to do but i have also sketched my sister on this page and then we have this like a bouquet of sunflowers which is actually weird i'm gonna erase that and do a better sketch but not now not today no <laughs> really nice texture these are like circular textures and it's pretty thick this is actually also like not exactly white it's like a tinted yellow there you can tell the difference it's actually a lot more yellowish and this is more like white white so it's different Next, I have this black sketchbook, which is actually my second black sketchbook now. I have also started doing some Arabic calligraphy in here. I did fill my other black sketchbook with just gold and silver Arabic calligraphy, so that is pretty much what I'm going to be doing with this one as well. Yeah, what the heck is that? This one right here is going to be my favorite. First, it just says sketchbook, and it's got this really cool cover as well, and ha also has this plastic handle. I can just hold it like a briefcase and just walk around with it, which I'm never going to do, but <laughs> it's there. Um, so here we have gotten this very cool, like a mystical, oh, it's 
upside down. <laughs> um, we've got this very cool mystical design. It's a starfish. It's got some gold metallics, which is actually really pretty. The back is just this color. It's actually, it feels really good. It feels really nice, and I like that. And these pages are literally so freaking cool. This sketchbook is big. Yeah, it's a little smaller than A4, but it's a lot wider, so it's very cool, and I really like it. This one is also like a yellow tinted paper. This is actually um, less than 180 GSM probably, so it's not super thick paper, but it does have some really nice texture. I think it would be great for sketching. It also has a bunch of pages, so this is going to be a really fun sketch book to work with and that brings me to the end of this video i'm extremely tired i hope you guys enjoyed this video it took forever to film and it's probably going to take even longer to edit so i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then i'm very very glad that you did comment below which of these specific art supplies you would like for me to make a specific video on and until i upload another video make sure you all stay artsyrc and goodbye you're giving me a heart